Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle the uh, SSL errors in any browser using Selenium WebDriver script. So uh, Selenium provides you the ability or there are classes that are available in Selenium uh, that you can utilize to handle the SSL errors that you get. So for example, if I take this particular URL here, okay, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just opening this particular URL, which is the sample URL, which will give me the expired SSL error. And uh, I open it in the Firefox. Let me open again. And I want to show you the error that we'll get. So you'll, you'll see that this is some, so, uh, some uh, you know, SSL error, uh, the warning that you will get if you go to advanced and, you know, accept the risk and continue. And it will show you the error code that this is the expired certificate so these are the ssl errors that you might have to and uh, that you will encounter in your actual you know application testing when you are doing the selenium automation uh, and you have to handle those in a different browser so if i go to edge and navigate to the same url let's see you'll see this particular error right your connection is in private and this certificate is not valid so you will get this error in, uh, you know, different browsers, whichever browser you are testing, and you have to handle those in your automation script. Now, Selenium provides you uh, the class, which is uh, desired capabilities class, which is used to define the general, you know, profile for the browsers. And then you can use it uh, with the, you know, browser options or the class. There is another class, uh, which is Chrome options for the Chrome browser, Firefox options. Uh, edge options so these are other classes that will use in combination with the desired capabilities to navigate through these errors and uh, successfully go through the uh, you know uh, go go to the application in order to test it so if we don't handle these ssl errors and i have uh, if i try to you know run this particular you know uh, script let's see um, how it will open so it will uh, where it will navigate and uh, you know how the uh, browser will look like so you will see that you know it navigates to the uh, expired.badssl.com but it it doesn't move further it doesn't navigate to the home page or the main page of this particular domain right so once we you know handle it then we'll be able to navigate to the page and that error will be handled automatically so in order to handle this we'll go to the you know uh, let's go through this particular uh, desired capabilities class so you'll see that this class has uh, some you know methods if you scroll down you have this accept insecure search this method we can utilize or we can utilize this set capability right so there is there are other inherited methods from other you know um, uh, classes that we can utilize so we can set the capability uh, that we need for the particular browser so for the browser profile let's see how we can do it so for example here what we need to do is we simply need to create uh, the you know uh, the object of the desired capabilities class so we can say desired capabilities and then we, we can say dc uh, and simply create an object of this class right so we can say new desired capabilities all right okay so before and we need to do it you know prior to launching the driver okay or the chrome browser okay or the chrome driver so just import the desired capabilities from open uh, selenium open qa selenium remote and now we can call the methods on this particular desired capabilities object so we can say dc dot and then we can simply call the method set accept insecure search and we can simply set it to true and what this will do is this will accept the insecure certificates that are popped up in the browser okay so if you want to understand so basically what we are doing here is we are setting the capabilities or the desired capabilities for our global you know browser profile so with the desired capabilities class we are setting you know the global profile for the browser and then with the browser specific class there is a browser specific class called you know chrome options or firefox options or uh, you know edge options 
uh, that we can utilize to specify these capabilities for the local browser that will be launching okay so how we'll do it so we'll simply you know we have um, defined this you know at, at the global you know profile level right so this is sort of global profile and then we have to uh, use this profile or use this uh, desired capabilities uh, in order to launch the chrome browser which will handle the ssl certificate so in order to do that we'll use the class chrome options okay and if we go to the documentation and you will see that here chrome options you will see this is you know another class and there are different you know methods that that are available and the method that we'll use is you know um, we'll define a class for the chrome option and then merge so merge the extra capabilities that we have defined at the global level into this particular local browser that we are launching okay so if we if you see here what we are doing is we are doing web driver driver is called new chrome driver okay so what we are doing here is whatever the default uh, you know uh, server configuration is so you can see that it creates a new chrome driver using default server configuration now with this you know desired capabilities what we are doing is we are changing that default capability or default server configuration to accept insecure certificates or to you know there are many other configurations that you do that you can do say uh, if you see a dc dot you will see there are a lot of other you know uh, methods that are available so you can set different capabilities you can set javascript enabled uh, you can set the version you can set you know uh, the browser version etc uh, and uh, the uh, platform uh, which platform you want to execute your test cases so this is very heavily used when you are trying to execute your test case in the grid and distribute your test case so desired capabilities will look into a lot more deeper when we are learning the grid concept but here i want to show you how you can utilize desired capabilities to handle the ssl certificate so now this is the global profile and now with the chrome options we are trying to merge this global profile into the browser that we are trying to launch the browser object right that we are trying to launch so here you will see that it, the new chrome driver that we launch should accept the certificate so we can say simply chrome options we'll create an object of chrome options and we'll say new chrome options all right and then we'll simply import the chrome option so open qa selenium chrome and that library got imported and now we have to merge okay so we'll call the method merge on this chrome options uh, object and merge the capability that we have defined right so this is the extra capability that we have defined at the global level so we'll simply merge that capability into the browser that we are trying to launch so the chrome browser all right so we have just passed that object here in the merge constructor and then when we are launching the web driver we don't want to launch the default right chrome driver uh, driver using the default server configuration we want to launch using the merged options right or the merged capability which will accept this insecure certificate so we, we simply need to pass this object into our chrome driver all right so now these are the only steps that will be required to handle the ssl certificate in your chrome browser okay so let's run this i'll save it and run it and see that it accepts the ssl certificate error successfully so it should open um, the url and directly go to the page right so you can see expired.badssl.com has been displayed successfully and you haven't got that particular error okay so that's how you will handle the uh, ssl certificate errors in selenium web driver and in the chrome browser now if you want to you know uh, write a code to handle this in different browsers so uh, I'll explain you how you can handle that as well. So here I have simply, you know, copied uh, the code for say, for example, we have initially discussed that, uh, you know, if there are, if you want to run your test case on multiple browsers, um, you know, how, say, for example, you're reading the Chrome uh, detail or the browser detail from external CSV or XLS file, 
and based on that this value is populated in the script right so if it is chrome uh, it should launch chrome browser and handle those certificates on the chrome browser if it is firefox uh, it should handle in the firefox if it is you know uh, internet explorer or edge it should handle the ssl certificate in edge okay so before that let me uh, explain one more thing so here you can see that i have used the um, you know set capability concept as well so you there are two ways to handle so here uh, either you use the set accept insecure certificate okay to handle the ssl certificate or the other way is to dc dot set capability okay so you can define the capability that you want to set so here i can simply say capability type right and then if you say press dot you will see all the capabilities that you can set at the global profile so what we'll say is we'll say accept insecure certs and then provide the value as true all right and this will accept all the insecure certificates and if you want to accept all the ssl certificate then you simply say accept ssl certs right and then it will accept all different type of ssl certs so you can see here that we are defining a lot of you know you know capabilities at the global profile level so that's why we need to merge that into our chrome option or the browser option okay so this is another way to handle the ssl certs so either you set accept insecure certs method and set it to true or you can use the set capability method and set the capability type uh, to you know the values that you want now if we talk about you know handling it in the multiple browsers so what i have done is based on the value that is coming out of xls or csv uh, there is a simple if else that you can write so if browser equals firefox then you know it uh, you know will create the firefox uh, it will set up the firefox driver and then i've created the desired capabilities handle you know uh, ssl error uh, object and then i have called the set capability uh, method and accepted insecure certs in uh, within the browser uh, within the firefox scope okay and similarly then what i have used is for the firefox option so we've created an object of the firefox options class for the firefox browser and then use the merged uh, merge method to merge the capabilities that we have defined so these are the two capabilities that we have defined right so i'm simply merging those into the firefox options and then creating the uh, you know firefox uh, driver okay so to drive the firefox uh, navigation uh, similarly if it is you know like chrome then it will do the same steps for chrome and here in the chrome op in the chrome options so instead of using the firefox option so for the firefox browser you'll use the firefox options class for chrome options you'll use the chrome options and for edge you'll use edge options and the desired capabilities is sort of common across all these particular you know browsers so you can simply create you know um, object of the desired capabilities set up the global level capabilities for uh, the particular browser and then simply you know call or uh, create the object of the browser specific and then create the new browser driver with the global options that we have defined in in the chrome case we have you know ch options and in the edge we have edge options so if now in this case if we simply want to you know like run our test case in edge then we simply need to you know change this to edge or if we have the external csv or xls reading capability we have written the utility that will, then it will read that from the configuration file and populate that to edge and in this case it will launch edge and handle the ssl error so let's try and execute this and see the results So you can see that it will launch the edge browser and will redirect to expired.badssl.com, right? So this is basically, you know, like a better way to approach when you have, you know, multiple browsers and you want to handle, you know, um, accept insecure uh, certificates or any other, you know, like profile. So when we go to, you know, uh, the advanced concept of uh, frameworks and how you will structure your script, we'll learn a lot more detail of 
uh, a lot better ways to do these things but this is you know like quickly i want to explain if you want to handle you know uh, the ssl certificate uh, errors in multiple browsers this is sort of a better way to do that um, so this will you know handle all your browsers you simply if you want to uh, you know handle more browsers you can just add one more else if after this and use the code there all right so that's all about uh, how you will be able to handle the ssl certificates uh, or ssl you know certificates in insecure certificate error in selenium webdriver hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching